Hi people, it's Danny, hope you're doing good. Now in this video, we are back in Steinberg's Cubase to showcase a brand new update to the Halion sampler. Now this is really interesting to me because it comes with some brand new features, including the ability to do FM. And not just any FM, this is FM that has been put together in conjunction with Yamaha. And it offers emulation of the DX7. And for me, the thing that I'm most excited about is the TX81Z. So we are talking about these classic underground house sounds. And this track has been put together using just the Halion 7, okay? The brand new version. Every single element here that you can hear has been composed using this plugin. I just got to point out that this is not a sponsored video. I haven't been paid to do this. But it's important for transparency to say that I have received the plugin for free, okay? But you guys know me, I don't tend to get excited about something with any kind of fake pretense, you know, I'm always giving you the honest content, all right? And I truly am incredibly excited about this. Um, I've been a big fan of Halion over the years in terms of the library because there has been that involvement of Yamaha. So for me, it felt almost like I had a Yamaha montage. But this is taking things up a level and it has some incredibly creative capabilities. I'm not going to be going into these um, in the video, this is more about a, a deconstruction of the track and I'm going to take you through some of the elements that I've used that are uniquely there because of this brand new version of Halion, Halion 7. So let's go back a bit. The most important thing for me in this track is, is this bass line and beats groove. And this is coming from this track down here. So let's bring up the Halion 7. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that the the browser here, the media bay is different. Okay, so this has been updated. It's much cleaner. Uh, for me, it functions a lot better. And you'll notice up here, it says FM Lab. And this is the thing that I'm really excited about with this plugin because it brings a vibe that uh, I love about FM. And there are a couple of, particularly within the underground house scene, a couple of bass patches. That's the Lately bass and the Solid bass. And you can see these as presets. I was so excited when Steinberg got in touch. I said, firstly, if you're doing FM, do you have these patches? And here they are. And, you know, these sound absolutely fantastic to me. So I'm using this Lately bass preset. And this is coming through the, the work that they've done with Yamaha. So this is really, for me, adding that layer of authenticity. As far as I know, I don't know it's modeling the DAC side. Okay, so that's the digital to analog converter. I don't know if it's modeling that signal path. That's something to find out. But for me, I'm not really caring because I love the sound of this thing. It just sounds fantastic. So let me solo this bass for you and we'll take a listen. So let's take a look at the, um, the notes. And it's really nice actually coming back to um, Cubase after a gap for a while, um, you know, using the, the editor. This is what I started with um, back in the day you know, on the Atari ST. So it's always lovely to come back home to Cubase. So that's the bass sound. Now, the other thing that's very, very distinctive about this track is this Rhodes chord here. Let me play this. I just love the sound of that. That feels so authentically underground to me. Um, let's take a look. So here it is. It's another instrument from the FM lab. So you can see this here. It's called Tremolo Rhodes. It's a very wide sounding preset. And so what I've done, because I felt it was a little bit too wide, I'll show you on the mixer here. I'll bring this up. Take a look at the panning. So I used the combined panner to pull that signal in a bit, a little bit more centrally. And to engage this, you right click on here, you can choose between the stereo balance panner, which is the default and the combined panner. So that's what I've done, just to bear in mind that I've narrowed the field in here. So back onto this, let's take a look at the actual notes. You can see the chords here. This repeats pretty much throughout the whole track. A couple of moments where you can see where it doesn't exist. 
And this is the main element of the groove. Let me bring that bass back. And let's bring the chords back in. And these interact with the other elements, of course. Let's come up to the drums, actually, because what I've got here, and, and, and just to let you know, I'm using a single instance of Hadley on 7 for each of these elements. So I'm not running with this in multi-timbral capability, just for simplicity, because I've got used to other doors, things like Bitwig and Ableton and so on. And they tend to work in that kind of function. Whereas Cubase is from the days with the multi-timbral devices and selling multi-outputs. I've kind of got used to that idea of just keeping it simple. So it's one instance. And don't have any concerns about performance. I, don't, I haven't had any issues about running multiple instances of Hanny on 7 here to do so. But this is a kick. And let's listen to this. Let's solo this on its own. Here we go. And you can take a look. So this is coming from a kit called the Hip Rim Kit 2. And we've got here um, the bass overdrive running. You can see that that's an effect running as an insert. Bypass. I felt it was a little bit too clean, right? So I'm after an authentic old school underground kind of sound. I used to crank up the gain on my mixer and get this kind of a vibe. So for me, that feels more underground. So that was my starting point. It was that kick. And then whilst we're here, let's take a look at the other drum elements. Here is a clap. Coming from a kit here, the SRT9T8 kit. I've also got on here the delay. Let me bring this up, adding a little bit of space, okay? Open hat, which is a real classic 909 there. That's coming here from, once again, the T9 and T8 kit. The advantage of running these separate instances is the fact that the output is automatically on a new channel on the mixer. A closed hat. Once again, same kit. A snare that comes in later, so this is add to some uh, to bring some interest in, slightly different. Another kit. Paddy on Sonic. Another snare. Once again, a Halion 7 kit. So these drums were up and running really quickly thanks to this way of working. A couple of other elements. So these are all using the Halion 7. There is also an 808 Tom here running. And um, let's take a look at this. This is coming from, once again, the same kit. But this is to add a little kind of extra kind of bottom end um, variety. You can hear that. And then a tambourine that I programmed. Let me just show you the programming here because what I did, I used the classic old school drum editor here. And I'm going to bring this up. And this, um, I used to love programming like this because you can see the velocity um, differences here. And this is a swung pattern. So you can see here some of these 16ths and moved to the right. So it's got that old school kind of swung vibe. You can clearly see the velocity differences here going from soft, medium, hard, medium, soft, and you can see the amounts that I used for each of these. So that creates that really lovely, um, kind of like authentic old school tambourine without having to use a loop. So you can hear that here. Let's come on to some more of these really fantastic sounding Hadley on 7 instruments. So let me just start over here. This is such a wicked patch. It really reminds me actually of things like um, Robert Owen's I'll Be Your Friend, you know, one of those classic 90s jams. This is a preset called FM Brass. Love the sound of that. And that, that's being played with different velocities. So there's a real expressiveness coming through on here. You can hear the motion changing down to the different velocities there. And we did hear another sound here, this twinkling pad. Some of these I've named based on the preset names. Some of these I've created a really silly name for myself here. <laughs> this is called Beacon on the FM Lab again. Seriously, the FM Lab is the real selling point for me on this thing. Um, it's wicked. It's so good. Um, the piano. Now, this is interesting. Let me show you something on this. Pay attention. 
You hear that? So here's the effect. It's an insert. It's called bass tape ducking delay. This thing's just amazing because it's got this kind of tape delay sound. You can hear that pitch change. So, and it's providing this real amazing interest. It sounds totally unique. Let me take it off. You hear that? It's very conventional, very boring. Bringing it up. I love that. For me, that's a really unique thing. And that's one of the real, um, the lovely new effects that are inside Helion 7 as well. There's a few of those. Some extra notes in the chord here, by the way. I've added some higher up to create a variety compared to before. But let's take a look at the other instruments that we've got here. We've got a gospel organ. Let's listen to this. Very classic. Helion 7 coming from this kind of like a Hammond organ um, recreation, the Model C, and that sounds great. That sounds great. Um, also another patch here. Let's go into this. Let's put some other sounds on for context. Let me take the solo off the key editor. And what is this? It's another Hattie on Sonic. Let me get the right one. Sorry, not Hattie on Sonic. Hattie on 7. It's very easy to say that by mistake. So this is a patch called Rhythmic Motions, once again from the FM Lab. Sounds fantastic. There's such a groove to this track. And the texture and the sound, the authenticity is there because of the FM Lab in Hattie on 7. You know? So for me, that really, really makes this production. I previewed this on my social channels and people have been going nuts for it. Um, and by mistake, I uploaded it to SoundCloud publicly and then I had like loads of amazing comments. So there is something, there's a real magic here that's been captured. And in all honesty, I feel it's been captured because of the Hattie on 7. Yeah, every now and again, you'll make a track that really stands out because of the tool you use. And so because I used Hattie on 7, this has come out as it has done. You know, I don't have a lot of time for making videos these days, as many of you know. So um, I really felt that I wanted to do something because the product is launching um, on Friday, the 17th of February. And it's going to be a fantastic product for anybody wanting to get these authentic uh, Yamaha sounds. Of course, there are many other features and many other benefits of this thing. There are probably other people who are much better suited to demonstrating those to you. But for me, as an underground house music producer... This thing is the real deal. So it's the uh, the Hallion 7 and it's the FM Lab. For me, two fantastic, fantastic new things. Um, and thank you, Steinberg. This is a great product. I wish you all the success with it. And everybody who gets hold of it, have fun with it.